Hey guys, this lighting is very weird. I feel like I cannot find the correct lighting in this room, so we'll just stay here. But hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Manuela. Today is day five, I believe. I am losing track as you can see, day five of our seven day cruise on Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. And today we are in Cozumel, Mexico. I'm so excited. This has been the one stop I've been waiting for and I'm so excited that today is the day. It is really early. We woke up and went to the gym. I think we woke up at like 6.30. We're at the gym at 7 and now it's 9 a.m. So we're gonna go get some breakfast over at Windjammer, which is the breakfast buffet that's included or complimentary as they say. And then we have our cigar rolling experience and also beach time around 11. We have to meet up with the group outside on the pier at 10 45. So we're gonna go eat and possibly already get off the ship to kind of do some shopping because we didn't do any yesterday and we're hoping today's not exp as expensive as yesterday but I'm, i have a feeling it's gonna be the exact same way and also nails are still going strong thank you so much curve life for sending these over i am obsessed the one thing i did scratch this one and i don't know if you can see it on camera but i did scratch it with my suitcase but other than that they are doing great i am loving it and i only had to reapply one that fell off yesterday but other than that it's holding strong so let's get into the video if you've been here long enough you already know that our first stop of the day is always at windjammer for breakfast which never disappointed we then disembarked and made our way out to cosumel once again we were blessed with great weather This pier isn't as long as the one in Costa Maya, Mexico, but on the way you'll find a comfort zone, information kiosks, and you'll pass by a quick back check with a really cute dog. Also, our obligatory first stop is duty-free to see if we find any cool liquor bottles or candy. Right across from the duty free, you'll find Margaritaville that had some mariachis playing at that moment. While we waited for the tour to start, we walked around the port, which was filled with a lot of colorful shops and souvenirs. If there's one thing I recommend having in Mexico, it's a Mexican Coca-Cola. Another spot I recommend checking out based on our wonderful experience is Chile Tequila. We were able to taste different flavors and get a pretty good bundle deal. Plus, they were all super friendly and helpful. Once our tour started, a guy came to find us wherever store we were at and they took us to the taxi area where we took about a 10 minute drive to our destination called Playa Mia. There, they had a chocolate boutique right across from the cigar shop where we'd be taking our master class in cigar rolling. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of cigars like my husband, but I always love learning how to make new things, so I was excited for this tour. A plus for this experience is that they prepare you drinks while you were in class, so I got myself some margaritas. And right over here is the room, and I'll show you in a second the materials that were provided for us to roll our cigars. And now I'm just going to show you some sped up clips of us in the master class. Ay, gracias. Qué Muchas gracias. Así como contra, contra este, sí, contra el sol. And here are our finished cigars. After class, we checked out the cigars that they had at the shop and then we took our drinks over to the beach. As part of the tour that we booked, we had unlimited food and drinks included, as well as the ability to use the facilities in the area which had pools and the beach. So you already know, we spent the next two hours relaxing on the beach 
ordering way too many drinks and then stuffing our faces at the buffet. The food was pretty decent, nothing too crazy. After that, we visited another tequila spot where we had even more tastings and then we headed back to the ship. We ended up taking like a 3-4 to four hour nap so we missed our dinner at the main dining room at 5.30 but we still went to the Windjammer which had an American themed buffet and it was really good. But if you don't want to take long naps like us, I recommend ordering and packing some Magic Mind with you. It's a perfect pick me up that helps you stay focused and energized without feeling any jitters or crashing afterwards. I usually take it as a matcha latte with lactose free milk but in moments like this, taking it as a shot is a great option too. So make sure to check Magic Mind in the description box below where you can also find my discount code. Okay, back to what we were doing. So after dinner, we checked out the Showband Live Music Now show that was so good. It was a 12-piece orchestra playing some classic songs. I'll give you a sneak peek and hopefully not get copyrighted. After the show, we walked around and saw that they were getting ready for a parade, so we secured our spot and watched from above. And I will be completely honest, I'm not sure what the storyline was, but it was still enjoyable. After the parade, we went over to Boleros, this Latin bar and lounge, to listen to the live band. And man, they were so good. They even sang Bad Bunny. Unfortunately, this was the night we lost the hour we had gained. So by 3 a.m., I was eating Sorrento's pizza in bed before passing out. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining us and stick around for next week's video as we near the end of our cruise. I'm so sad, but I'm also excited to share our next fun day at sea as well as our perfect day at Coco Cay. And don't forget to check out Magic Mind in the description box below as well as my discount code. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!